It was a cold, gray day. Rain lashed down, soaking the sidewalks and the people on them. Traffic was at a standstill. The roads were blocked, and the sound of engines and car horns filled the air. A red, double-decker bus pulled up to the sidewalk. An old man stepped off the bus. He pulled the collar of his grubby, worn rain jacket up around his face, sheltering himself from the weather. He looked around the sidewalk, a grumpy look on his face before he lowered his head and moved towards a large, white building. The art museum was a popular tourist attraction. Every day, visitors from around the world would queue to see the priceless paintings, relics, and artifacts. Today was no different. He walked up the stairs leading to the heavy wooden doors that led inside. Inside, large groups of people stood around the most popular exhibits. Cameras flashed and people spoke in hushed tones as they moved around the museum halls. All except one person, the old man. His name was Oscar. He mumbled as he barged through the crowds. His hands were pushed firmly in the pockets of his jacket. He walked to the end of the main hall, pausing at the bottom of a large staircase. He gave a little smile, and then he skipped up the steps, two at a time, defying his old age. The familiar and rhythmic clip-clopping of his shoes against the marble calmed his angry mood. He could still hear the giggling of the school children in the corridors below. A museum was no place for noise, never mind a gaggle of runny-nosed brats. But would that teacher listen to Oscar? Not a chance. Apparently, he was creating the scene, not those precious little angels. Oscar reached the top step, pausing to tap the base of the large alabaster eagle that perched at the top of the staircase, looming large over all those below, as though searching for its prey. One tap, two tap, three taps. He didn't know how he had started this ritual, but it was the only way he could walk down the dimly lit corridor in front of him. He passed by the less popular, uglier paintings that lined the walls. There were no Monets, Picassos, or Gauguins down here. This wing of the museum housed the outcasts of the gallery. The family members asked to stand at the back of the wedding photographs. But Oscar paid them no attention, not even one cursory glance. All he was focused on was the floor tiles. Must not step on gray, or for the rest of the day, you'll pay. A few more tiles stood between Oscar and his goal. He was here to see a special lady. She had become a regular part of his life. The old maid with bucket. She wasn't the most attractive lady Oscar had seen. In fact, there was something downright repulsive about her. Those piercing brown eyes, the imperfections in her skin, and the dark, bristle-like hairs on her arms had captivated Oscar. He could open up to the old maid, and she wouldn't judge. She was the only person he felt comfortable around. Their paths had crossed by pure chance. Oscar had been trying to escape a charity collector who insisted on waving a donation box in Oscar's face. It wasn't the reluctance to give to charity that caused Oscar to seek refuge. It was the coughing <laughs> emanating from the charity collector's mouth. <coughs> Germs. Oscar had no option. He had to run as fate would have it. He found safety in the arms of the old maid hanging on the wall. Hello, dear said Oscar cheerily, as he stepped into the old maid's resting place. Hello yourself. Oscar wasn't alone. There was a woman, a stranger sitting on Oscar's spot, the spot he had carefully selected. It was right in front of the old maid. There was minimal glare, and the draft from the overhead air conditioning gave a cooling breeze. It was perfect, except now it wasn't. Don't you just love the use of watercolors? Oscar ignored the woman, eyeing his spot with a scowl. Would you like me to move up? The stranger smiled, patting the spot next to her. Oscar shuffled, nervously digging around in his overcoat pockets. He pulled out an unopened pack of tissues, placing one carefully on the spot next to the stranger before tossing the rest into the trash can in the corner. 
He sat down, still scowling at the person sitting next to him. What do you think she's thinking about? Pondered the woman, oblivious to Oscar's uneasy state. You're in my spot. I just love the depth in her eyes. You can tell there's a lot going on there. The woman continued. Why are you here? Huh? Oh, I come here every day on my break. Hi, I'm Judy. She said, offering out a hand. Oscar jerked back in disgust. I'd rather not, if it's all the same to you. Judy shrugged her shoulders and looked back at the painting. Oscar still had a scowl on his face as he unbuttoned his overcoat. He slipped a hand inside and produced a carefully wrapped sandwich inside two plastic bags. He removed the first bag, folding it exactly four times and placing it by his side. He removed the second bag and folded it six times, placing it on top of the first. He started to unwrap the cellophane before stopping in his tracks. Judy was staring at him. I like to keep my food fresh. I don't think you're allowed to eat in here, said Judy as she stood up. But enjoy. This whatever it is has been interesting. You're leaving? Oh, thank you, said Oscar, scrabbling to pull out another pack of unopened tissues from his pocket. He cleaned the spot left by Judy. Same time tomorrow, said Judy as she walked down the dimly lit corridor. Oscar stopped cleaning the bench. Huh? I was talking to the painting. Oscar looked at the old maid with defeat. It's either me, he looked back towards Judy, or her. The painting of the old maid simply stared back at Oscar. Oscar sighed and took a bite from his sandwich. <sighs>